the birth of seal of the Prophet Muhammad al-Mustafa, peace be upon him and his family, on 17th Rabi'ul Awwal, was an event celebrated in all corners of the heavens and the earth. In fact, the books of history record many great miraculous events that took place at this time. On the night, the lady Amina, peace be upon her, conceived him, an announcement was made in the heavens. Congratulations to you, O Amina. The royal pearl, the embryo of the holy messenger, has settled in the shell of your charity, piety, and gracefulness. Following this announcement, not a single creature on the earth did not become aware of the birth of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family. And further to this, Lady Amina narrates, When I conceived the Holy Prophet, no sign of pregnancy appeared in me, and I did not experience those difficult conditions which other women normally experience during this time. I saw in my dream a man who came towards me and told me that you are carrying the best of the creation and when the time came to give birth, he was delivered very easily and I did not experience any pain. The baby put his hands on the ground and raised his head to the sky. A kind of radiance appeared on his body which lit up everything. In that light, I saw the palaces of Syria and in its midst. I heard a voice saying, The best of creation is born. Name him Muhammad. The newborn was then brought to his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, peace be upon him, who joyfully took the baby in his arms and declared, I praise and thank Allah who has blessed me with such a handsome son who surpasses all children. Shaykh al kulaini mentions that Abu Talib and Lady Fatima bint Asad, peace be upon them, were also present to welcome the new baby. Lady Fatima is reported to have said, I see a radiance which is rising and spreading everywhere from east to west. To which Abu Talib replied, Shall I give you the news of glad tidings? Soon a son will be born to you who will be just like this newborn except in prophethood. He was of course referring to the birth of Amir al-Mu'mineen Imam Ali peace be upon him. In his book Hayat al-Qulub, Allam al-Majlisi mentions that the gardens of Jannah were decorated and the residents told, Be joyful and continue to prosper for the messenger of your friends is born. Every garden of paradise smiled and will continue to smile therefore until the day of judgment. In addition, Allam al-Majlisi records several or inspiring events that took place on the day of his birth, that idols in every part of the world toppled suddenly. The palace of the king of Iran shook and its 14 arches crashed. The river Sawa in Iraq, which was worshipped by the polytheists, dried up and became too salty to drink, and the fire of the Zoroastrian temple of Fars unexpectedly extinguished after burning for over a thousand years. These were signs that the scholars of religion had been waiting for. They marked the birth of a great prophet who would change the world forever. And just like the name Muhammad, meaning he who is praised suggests, Across the world today, not a single moment goes by without somebody sending salawat upon him and his purified family.